In this video, which is part of a class, we'll be talking about WordPress. Why should you use WordPress? Maybe you have a website already. Maybe you think, I'm not going to blog. I don't have a lot to say. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I'm not sure what I want online about myself. Well, you need to decide, and it needs to be your professional web presence. I think that you should be word using WordPress even if you have your own website because it is a tool that can be your central location. You can use it to connect to Facebook, Twitter, your LinkedIn, other social media sites. You can use it to publish easily to all of these different sites. It should be your central web presence. So I hope that you'll decide to use it. The other reason why I think you should be using it is WordPress has been around for a long time. It seems like it will be around for a long time. It's not a social media site that's just going to pop up for a few days and then in three weeks disappear. It, ha you know, They have a business model and I think that it, it's, it's worth your time to invest in putting your site together in WordPress. There's two ways that you can start your WordPress site. If you already have a domain name and your web hosting, you can install WordPress on, on your site. That's where mine is, blog.janinelim.com. Blog, blog I have WordPress hosted on my site, not hosted with WordPress. That would be if you are super techie. If you aren't, you can start very easily at wordpress.com. You're going to need your domain name, so see my other video about branding. And your URL will be something.wordpress.com. I encourage you, again, with your URL to think broadly. Um, I made the mistake of starting off my first very my very first blog. It was about video conferencing, and it was at my workplace, Barron County Intermediate School District. It was called then, and my blog was bcisdvcs.blogspot.com. Blogger was Blogspot in those days. But then my institution changed names, <laughs> and so now my URL wasn't any good. The, they changed to Barry and Risa, Regional Education Aid Service Agency. So that was a little bit problematic. I thought, well, I'll tie it into my name better. So I went with vcoutonalim.org. But then when I left Barry and Risa and came to Andrews University, now I have just video conferencing, whereas that out on a limb concept ties across everything that I do. So think about your URL and think about something that hopefully will stay forever in your work life. Maybe it's something you have a passion about. Maybe it's just a cutesy little brand like mine, out on a limb. Or maybe it's something else that really you care about and is something that you, you see yourself being able to make a contribution to whatever career you're in. So think about your URL and get started on your WordPress site.